For the past 50 years, the Volta River Authority has been powering electrical energy supplies throughout Ghana. Having recently started to increase production on an international scale, I'm joined by VRA CEO Kweku Arutui to talk about where Ghana's energy industry is heading. Kweku, welcome. Nick, thank you. So how has Ghana's energy industry developed over the last few years? Modestly. In the last 12 months, we have added about 600 megawatts uh, to the country's uh, supply. Those projects um, took about five to six years to develop, and they, they make up about 25% of our requirements. So from a certain point of view, that's good. But when you look at the country's growth rate uh, of about 8 to 10% a year, uh, we need more. And what are the challenges facing the industry? Ghana has a fairly old and aging infrastructure, which we haven't done a great job keeping up with. At the same time, we have a, a rapidly growing economy and we need to take care of the aging infrastructure and build the new. And we need to do that uh, basically in an environment of rising expectations, also in an environment where you know, the people um, don't have the income levels to necessarily afford high electricity prices. It does mean that we have to be proactive find greater efficiencies in the management of those companies. We must uh, minimize our losses in terms of uh, distribution. Uh, it also does mean that as a generation company, we must run at our highest uh, availabilities. That's on the operational level. On the regulatory level, it also means that we must have price signals and incentives that encourage new investment, both by us as, as the state company, um, but equally for the private companies as well. And what does the shift to more renewables mean for the country's GDP? It'll be a positive because Ghana, like uh, many sub-Saharan countries, has um, a lot of sunshine. Uh, it's something we haven't really harnessed very much until recently. So we think that as we develop our wind and solar in particular, it will galvanize the local industry, it will create export opportunities to the inland countries, and that will be a net positive to the economy. And how is Ghana's GDP linked to electricity demand? Ghana has been growing between 8 to 10 percent a year. A couple of years ago, I think we grew at 14 percent. We're either the first or second most uh, rapidly growing economy in the, in the world. And uh, electricity consumption has been pretty much in line with that. Over the last three years, we've seen about a 10 percent uh, year-on-year growth in consumption. And um, that's pretty high. Based on Volta River Authority's demand and supply plan, how are you addressing the current power shortage? You know, about 12 months ago, the West African gas pipeline ruptured our key uh, supply line for gas. And what that did was it immediately took out about 200 megawatts of supply into the country, which led to a period of uh, sustained load shedding throughout the country for that period of time. The pipeline has since been fixed, so that deficit has been immediately erased. I mentioned uh, 600 megawatts of new projects that have been coming on in the, next, in the last 12 months. Uh, the last 100 is coming on in the next two months. So for the meantime, you could say that the shortages have been addressed. Having said that, uh, VRA is actually constructing two projects currently, adding 300 megawatts over the next 18 months. We think that will also go a long way to meet immediate requirements. But um, one has to keep up with 10% growth which means we have to keep on adding year on year, and it's, it's an ongoing exercise. How is VRA dealing with its investment deficit and the rising electricity demand? We're putting together a 10-year investment program um, just to be proactive and to anticipate some of the demands coming out. Over the next 10 years, we uh, want to put in about 2,500 megawatts. We estimate that'll cost us over $4 billion. And, um, Currently, as we speak, uh, we're putting together a financing plan to address that. Energy prices, of course, are a growing concern worldwide. H how is VRA addressing this? For many years, uh, VRA has thought that energy prices are too low. And especially as we're building more thermal plants and using more um, liquid fuels, uh, in some cases natural gas, that's a lot more expensive than hydro, which we've had for so many years. Having said that, people are never happy when the price of electricity goes up. And uh, just recently we had a tariff increase and um, a lot of people are unhappy. But our view as producers is that if we don't get prices to a long-term investment uh, level, we won't be able to generate the investment required to generate the electricity that people need. So it's a balancing act. And I think that if we can do it gradually, if we can do it in a phased approach, you can mitigate some of the 
the hardship of rising prices. Finally, how do you see Ghana's energy industry developing over the next few years? Ghana happens to be in the geographic middle of West Africa. We're on the coast. Uh, currently, uh, we are the beneficiaries of a regional project called the West African Gas Pipeline, bringing gas from Nigeria all the way to Ghana. There's a lot more gas where that came from, and we hope Ghana can capitalize on that. We have our own indigenous supply of gas, and we hope we can develop that further. On the other hand, uh, there are a lot of inland countries that uh, don't have access to gas, that don't need as much electricity, if not more, than we do. So if we can uh, put our house in order and uh, stimulate more investment in electricity, we think that we can not only take care of our own needs, but we can export to the neighboring countries as well. Thank you. Thank you, Nick.